Welcome to my 16th video in the CCNA series. My name is Trevor. This video is going to be a brief overview of what the data link layer is. Now don't worry, I will be making more videos in the future doing a deep dive into all the concepts I'm about to mention, but I just wanted to use this video as a brief overview of what the data link layer is composed of. The data link layer is layer 2 on the OSI model and the TCP IP updated model. The data link layer's responsibility is to ensure the data is properly transitioned from the network layer, which is layer 3, to the physical layer, which is layer 1. Switches are the dominant device at this layer, and they can usually switch up to a few million frames a second. A frame is the PDU, or the protocol data unit, at this layer as well. So that's a pretty mind-blowing speed, right? A few million a second. That's hard to comprehend. That's how fast switches process. It's the speed of light. The most important parts of a frame that I want you to know are the source MAC address and the destination MAC address that exist inside of a frame header. So the reason why the source and destination MAC address inside a frame header is important is because it documents who the frame is coming from and where it needs to go. MAC addresses are referred to as a physical address because it is a 48-bit value that's physically burned into an interface card during its creation in the factory. And as you can guess, a MAC address cannot change. Remember, this is in direct opposition of what a layer 3 logical IP address is, being that an IP address can actually change an unlimited amount of time since it's only a logical value that's assigned to an interface. It's crucial that you memorize that MAC addresses are layer 2 physical addresses and that an IP address is a layer 3 logical address, and you need to make that separation between the two. You also need to know that a MAC address is a 48-bit hexadecimal address. Now what that means is it's a value that's displayed using the numbers 0 through 9 and the letters A through F. The first six hexadecimal digits are referred to as the OUI, or the Organizationally Unique Identifier, which is essentially the vendor code. Each vendor will have their own OUI. Think of a MAC address as globally unique, just like your fingerprint. I also want you to know that there's an FCS value, or a frame check sequence, in the trailer of a frame. This frame check sequence is used to confirm the integrity of a frame after it's transmitted by the sender. The way it confirms integrity is by running an algorithm on the data inside of that frame, and it's going to generate a hash based off the algorithm that's run on the data. The receiver will then run the same algorithm on the same data, and it should generate the same hash. If it does not generate the same hash, that means that the data has been compromised as it was sent from the sender to the receiver. Make sure to take note of this important fact. An FCS is only used to perform error detection. It does not perform error recovery. Only at layer 4 with TCP is where we're going to have error recovery. FCS at layer 2 is only to detect the error. Now remember, I will be deep diving more into all of these concepts here in later videos. I just wanted to compile a brief overview of what the data link layer is composed of. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.